Good day children. Today in this video we will be seeing the grammar part for the lesson The Bond of Love in which we will be learning adverbs. You have already learned adverbs in class 7, 8 and even in 9 in unit 1. But today we will be learning the new examples and we will be learning adverbs in detail. So let's get started. So adverbs and adverbials. When you want to add information about how, when, where or to what extent something has happened, you can use an adverbial. Okay. Many adverbials are members of the group of words called adverbs. I repeat once again, many adverbials, for example, as you can see here, greatly, I greatly admire your courage. Greatly is something called adverb. Adverb of manner, isn't it? So, uh, what is the verb here? Admire. So, I greatly admire your courage. So, what is adverbial here? Adverbials are members of the group of words called adverbs. But, adverbials are not necessarily just single words. That is, read the second line. He ran across the lawn towards the house. He is the noun and ran, he is a noun is like just a subject and ran is a verb and what is across the lawn towards the house? That is nothing but the adverbial. Adverbial need, need not to be only a single verb, word. It can be a big sentence also. Okay. Uh, now, yeah, they can also be words, word groups, prepositional phrases or even clauses. They can be word groups, prepositional phrases or even clauses. They are sometimes called adjuncts. Okay. So children, adverbs is also used as a whole sentence. For example, honestly, I didn't mean to be rude to you. The sentence is different. It, it doesn't speak about the honest, but it's just saying the truth or, like, or just like a promise that I didn't mean to be rude to you. Okay, the next one. Now you have to find the adverb here. Nevertheless, we must give him a chance. So what is the adverb here? Nevertheless is the adverb. Now what, what is the kind of adverb is nevertheless? Nevertheless is conjunctive adverb. Now I'll tell you what is conjunctive adverb. Conjunctive adverb is nothing but adverbial conjunction or subordinating adverb. Okay? So, uh, this is called as uh, uh, conjunctive adverb. Okay? So, I guess we have not learned conjunctive adverbs before, but we, we don't use conjunctive adverbs all the time. Okay? So, nevertheless, thus, these all, these all comes under conjunctive adverbs. Okay? Conjunctive adverbs are nothing but adverbial conjunction or subordinating adverb. Okay? Okay. Now see the next one. An adjective. Uh, adverbs are also used as adjective. You all know this. That is quite silly. Now what is quite here? Quite is nothing but adverb of degree. Yes? The next one. But uh, okay. That is quite silly is like being silly. Silly is being adjective. Uh, it, it, it is describing silly. Okay? The next one. Fears like that are very uh, real to the sufferer. Now, what has been uh, modified here? What has been described here? Fears like that are very real to the sufferer. Like the fear which is very real, we are just, uh, uh, we are just empathizing that the real things to the sufferer. So, very is nothing but an uh, adverb of degree okay so again it is uh, describing or it is modifying the adverb the verb here fear okay children you already know that adverbials can be divided into manner place time and also uh, frequency and other things now adverbial of manner which expresses how for example slowly with care, will, all these are adverbs of manner. Okay? Now the next thing, adverb, adverbial of place, which expresses where. Example, 
देर ह्योर अप इन टाउन ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन अडवर्बियल ऑफ टाइम वट इज अडवर्बियल ऑफ टाइम विच एक्सप्रेस इज वेन समथिंग हैपन फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ टूडे लास्ट नाइट लेटली Now see the examples. Two men were working their way slowly up the hillside. Now what is slowly here? Adverb of manner. The next sentence. Two men were working their way up the hillside. What is up the hillside here? Adverb of place. The next one. Two men were lost on the hills yesterday. Now what is yesterday here? When something happened. Yesterday it happened. So yesterday is nothing but adverb of time. Okay? Adverbial of degree which expresses to what extent something has uh, something has been done. Example, largely, extremely, much. The next one. Adverbial of frequency which expresses how often something has done. For example, rarely, often, sometimes, twice, daily. Now children, uh, I have also posted a video and you have also learned in class 8 the, uh, uh, the different types of frequency. Definite frequency and indefinite frequency, isn't it? So I guess this will be very clear to you. Now here is an example. It was largely their own fault. So what is largely here? Largely is nothing but adverbial of degree, which is adverb of degree. The next one, search parties went out every hour. What is every hour? Frequency. It is not time, it is frequency. What is the frequency which expresses how often something is done? Every hour, search parties went out to uh, search for the uh, workers who, who were lost in the hill. Okay, so children here is your recollecting part. Now pause the video for 5 minutes and try to answer all these questions. Now you have to identify the adverbs in these sentences. Okay, now here are your answers. I think she acted honestly. Now honestly is the adverb here. It is adverb of degree. The next one. Honestly, who does she think she is? Again, honestly is the adverb of degree. But what is the difference between these two sentences? They stand outside the word group or clause that they are associated with. Okay, the adverbs. For example, the same adverb can in one sentence, can be in one sentence, be part of the description of a verb. While in other sentence, it may modify the whole clause. In the last sentence, as you can see, the adverb is modifying the whole clause. Honestly, who does she think she is? It is modifying the whole sentence, isn't it? But in the first case, it's just, uh, it's just speaking about her honesty. Okay, she, uh, I think she acted honestly. Okay, the way she has acted, the way she is, her character. Okay, so honestly, but both the honestly are adverb of degree, but just, uh, it's just a, clar a clarification. Okay, the third one, Alice behaved wonderfully. Again, wonderfully is adverb of degree. Next, Justin went down the corridor. Now, down the corridor is adverb of place. The next one, Claire placed the cover over the coat. Now, what is over the coat? Over the coat is adverb of place. Yes. The next one. James stood the golf clubs in the corner. So, what is in the corner? It is again adverb of place. The car pulled out. What is pulled out? It is adverb of place again. The next one. Things are looking up. What is looking up? Looking up is again an adverb of place. Okay, now you, you can see two phrasal verbs here, which is pulled out and which is looking up. Okay, now uh, for a car, if it is pulled out, it means that if a vehicle or a driver pulls out, they move onto a road or onto a part of a road where the traffic is moving faster. Okay, for example, she just pulled out in front of me without indicating. 
just taking it from the, uh, just moving your car um, uh, from the uh, 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 traffic. Okay, just taking it out and you're, you're just uh, driving it in somewhere place, uh, some other place where, where it, it moves freely. Okay, the next one, things are looking up. Things are looking up is nothing but improving. Things are improving. Okay, looking up is nothing but, uh, which is improving. Yes, dear learners, hope you have understood the adverb lesson in detail. Thank you, children.